Hi friends, so this video shows how to install VirtualBox in uh, Windows 10. So go to virtualbox.org and download VirtualBox um, 6.0. This is the latest, latest version. Okay, click on this. Then select Windows host. Click on this. Now you can see it's downloading VirtualBox 6.0. So let me cancel it. So I already downloaded this file. Then minimize this uh, browser window. So this is a file which I downloaded. Open it. Click on Nest. Then click on Nest click on next select yes then click on install so here select yes Okay, click on install. Okay, installation completed. Click on finish. So let me minimize this window so you can see the icon or Apple VN virtual, virtual box here. Open it. Okay. So this is the Oracle VM Virtual Box 6.0. Go to File, sorry, go to Help and check. Click on About Virtual Box. You can see Virtual Box 6.0 here. So if you want to create a VM, click on this uh, New button. Then here you have to give the name for your VM. Let me give VM one. Then, so where you need to store the file of your virtual machine. You can select the folder here. So this is a default path. If you want to change it, you can change it here. Then what type of uh, VM, the OS type, you can select it here, Linux or Windows. Then here the version, what version, if you want over Ubuntu, or Fedora, whatever. Just select it. For example, let me select uh, Ubuntu 32 bit. Okay. Then click on Next. So here you can see the you can adjust the size of RAM. So default is one uh, GB. So if you want to change it, you can change it here. Then click on next. So if you want to create a hard disk for this uh, virtual machine, you can create it here. If you want, if you want to select an ex, uh, already existing disk file, you can select this option and you can browse and select that file here. So I am going to select this option because I need to create a new disk for this VM. Okay, then. Click on create. Then what type of disk file? So these three options are there: VDI, VHD, and VMDK. So this VDI is the virtual box disk image. So I'm going to select this option. So if you want to VMDK, you can select this. Okay. Then select click on next. Then dynamically allocated. So if you select this option. So this actually it's allocate actual file when we create when we install or when we create something in the VM. So based on the contents we create inside the VM, it will allocate uh, files. Okay. So allocate space. Then click on next. 
So here you can adjust the uh, size of the virtual hard disk. Default is 10 GB. So let me you know, reduce this value because I don't think I have enough space in my, my laptop. Okay, 10 GB, actually I can give 10 GB because this is a virtual disk and I have already set it dynamically allocated. So it will not, even if you select 10 GB, it will not allocate that 10 GB, okay. So don't worry, just create it. Okay, done. So now let me select settings and now I am going to show the output of the result of dynamically allocated option which we selected. Go to storage and select uh, the disk vm1.vdi. So here you can see virtual size is the 10 GB but actual size allocated is only 2 MB. So this is the result of this dynamically allocated storage. Okay. Now so if you want if you already have some ISO file just select this control ID then select uh, MD option and here you can see one uh, disk icon click on that and you can select the ISO file right now I don't have any ISO file you can just select the ISO file of the um, OS okay and just open it after that just start the VM then it will boot from that ISO file and you can install the OS in this virtual machine so this way we can in install uh, virtual box uh, 6 in Windows 10 so please subscribe my channel please like and share the video.